I will give you guys my honest thoughts. I will give you guys my honest feels. I will tell you guys how I feel right after having defeated Hydaelyn. Right after having watched the cinematic. Right after having been told that you know what? There is a way. We will silence the song of Oblivion for our song of hope. You know the song, you know the lyrics. I was got more than I have been got in my life. It was an, int an emotionally intense moment. I am expecting to just break down at any point uh, because that's how my brain works. I work in a weird way. It is likely that when I stop the stream, I will eat something and then I will just go lie down into the bed, be drained and for the following few days, I will burst out crying. The combination of Meteon and how it got us there, the com uh, and, and, and how Hydaelyn just because back in Shadowbringers, I wanted to kill her. I was like, you know what, she's just doing some sus things on the first, she's kind of like Zodiac, you know, she's mean, she's evil. Little did I know that neither Zodiac nor her were actually evil people, were evil creations. They were just, they were just primals really, but Hydaelyn was so much more, and Zodiac was so much more, his heart, Elidibus, no matter how many rebirths, and especially if you have read the short stories, you know how Zodiac just... You know, Elidibus, all the boys that succeeded him, one after the other, it didn't matter, the memories, they didn't want to forget again, they only took their duty seriously. And then Venat, what does she say? That no more will, ma will man fly, it will walk. And for thus, she sundered us. And you, you, you start in this journey, back in ARR, you know, uh, 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 helping people with the power of feelings and the power of emotions. And come on, if you're a WoW gamer, if you're someone like me, uh, it, it was jokingly, of course, but you did think to yourself, oh, come on, that's just, an uh, just another Japanese cliche game, right? Oh, uh, yeah, Nakama, yeah, like One Piece, right? With the power of friendship, we're gonna win, oh my god. And you win, oh my god. And uh, at some point, you realize that you stop winning. My first intense moment where I realized, you know what, uh, poo -poo, was with uh, the cabbage lady, Cormuxio. When Livia kicked her and killed her, I, 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 I was, I was like this. I wish I was streaming back then, just so that I can have that timestamp for you guys to see. Because you know what? Y'all people have finished uh, Final Fantasy XIV and Walker, right? You guys have finished, and if you don't, why are you watching this video? Fuck off, like honestly, okay? But if you have finished 6.0, you have seen more than I have seen, okay? And you guys said, hey, you know what? ARR, it's nothing special, just power through it, it's not so... It is. It is very, very good. You have the Kormuxia moment, which really got me. You have Ifrit all the way back then saying, what? You belong to another. Back then, we're talking about so many... When did this game even come out? I don't even know when this game came out. I was playing it when the free trial was up to level 35. I tried it, I burned out, I got away, and then I came back and made this lovely lady that you guys are seeing on stream right now. 2013. So, 10 years ago, 10 years ago, for 10 years, these wonderful human beings, all of the developers that worked, you know, into this game, you belong to another. Then you just go on and you venture with the story, you know, you beat Livia, you're like, ah. And then you realize, you're like, oh, it's not just, ah. She actually loves Gaius, like she does this because of love. Sure, she may be a bit on the cuckoo side, okay? But you know what? If I have a wife in the future, that's how I want her. Livia back then, she loved Gaius more than herself, more than, more than more than the healthy amount, more than you could possibly imagine. This is a bottle of water, duh, okay? The water that fills is up to here. She loved him up to here, you know? It was just intense. And then you go into this dungeon, okay? Uh, what was the last dungeon? The Etia scope, Greek word, fun fact, Etia, purpose, scope, scopi, uh, seeing it. You actually see the purpose, okay? Uh, scope is a uh, telescopio, you guys know telescope, right? Uh, microscopio, microscope, scope is from scopos, scopos is the watcher, is the one who sees, so a scope is seeing the purpose. So you go and you see the purpose and you see that even after death, 
Livia still loved uh, Gaius. Thank you for the follow. Lovekin, I sincerely appreciate that. You get a flex. Welcome to the shiny army, my friend. Um, uh, the, the, the dude, the fella, the guy, the dude, the, the, the guy, the, the other dungeon boss, uh, the Tartarus fella, you know, the... The trial back then that we were all memeing about in the sprouts, how it is so difficult and nobody can do it. You meet this guy too unrepentant. All the NPCs in that dungeon, they show um, the hell. Then you are struck by Amon. Amon, let's go back in time. Uh, Ritalin, okay, Ritalin, sure. Let's go back in time, okay? Let's talk about Amon for a moment, okay? Back in time, you meet Amon for the first time. Where? In Crystal Tower. And what did you do? Well, you died. You died, like I died. Like most of us died, he did a curtain fall, you didn't go behind the meteor, you're like, and you died, okay? You died, I died, everybody died, okay? You all have wipes in Circus Tower, at least once in your life, you have wiped in Circus Tower, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it, okay? So you meet the guy back then. How could you imagine that the guy from back then would play such a role as Falafel and as, you know, a, continue to just do all these things that he has actually done. All the transit that's happened with Bahamut, and screw Bahamut, we're gonna talk about Bahamut later. And then you have like Shadowbringer situation, you have Endwalker, even, um, yeah, it was in Shadowbringers and it was in uh, Endwalker that you got to see the extent of that. And little do you know, you know what, you take uh, Amor and you take Falaf and then you have another binding circle around there somewhere, you know, which is Hermes. And you meet him and you just realize how these three personalities cultivate with one another, become one. And in the end, Hermes's failure was something that stigmatized Amon and all the other Falafels from then. So again, ARR moment. Um, one complaint for ARR. Uh, Miss Ishikawa, you wonderful human being, you epitome of wonderful brain existence, okay? Why do you make Crystal Tower mandatory, but you don't make Coils of Bahamut mandatory? How can a human being go out and enjoy Lunar Bahamut in uh, Shadowbringers and Endwalker and the Tower of Babel and all these things if, he, if they haven't done the Coils? How can you get the Alize pro, uh, character moment and progression in Heaven's World if you haven't done coils? Please, I beseech you, make it mandatory. Find a way, nerf the fights, put them into the party finder. I don't know how you will do it. You know what? No matter what ideas I can give you, you will do it way better than me. My, my, I am, uh, my brain is the size of a peanut in comparison to your galaxy brain, to all of you writers in a uh, not in ARR, sorry, in Final Fantasy XIV, in the entirety, right? And you get, you, the game starts, ARR, and how does it start? You know, uh, the cinematic, all the distraction, all Luis was like, ah, oh, hoo, DP, and oh, uh, yeah. And then you witness the better version of that cinematic. I think it is after you beat um, Luis Swa as Phoenix in the Coils of Bahamut. And then, what do you do? You progress with the story, and then you kill Bahamut Pride, finally ending it all. Before that, what do you do? You end the suffering to his children, to the Merosidians, which I, 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 I hope I visit. I hope I visit. You get to know Tiamat, his beloved. You get to know his children. You get to find. You get to learn in Heaven's Word and qu start to question things. Who is the good guy? Who is the bad guy? Oh, Lagans were these, uh, you know, technological masterpieces and master dudes. And you find out they were just sadistic fellas that were just doing utterly horrendous things. And then you go to heavens where you're like, oh, you know what, bad dragon tried to eat me. And then you realize that you, well, not you, the Guardians, but same thing, right? Actually ate the dragons first, that humans, we are to blame. You put an end to this thousand upon thousand years of war and you start and with Estinian, who, let us be honest, back in Heaven's Ward, I mean, you like Estinian, maybe you, maybe you did, I didn't like him that much, but he was undimensional. Whether you liked him, whether you didn't like him, doesn't matter. One dimensional. Oh, Dragon Ball, I kill Dragon. And then you get this guy and he progresses through the entirety of Heaven's Ward, especially with his Ailey, right? Uh, with her Vaskar, with even with Vidofnir. And he gets corrupted by Nidhogg, but then he sees through. He proceeds with Shadowbringers. He goes on and so on and so forth. He meets with Gaius. They do what they do back in the doing in the capital, right? 
and he comes back now. He confronts Hydaelyn, a guy who was born of vengeance, finally talking about love. You continue, you proceed with the story and you just see it getting better and better and better. Thordan, the Pope, you know, just what happens with Thordan, how his son, Lord Emerick, proves very much indeed to be way, way better as a leader. How, how he almost dies for it, he got stabbed. The Heavensward story progresses and then you move slowly towards Stormblood. And Stormblood comes and everybody's like, oh, it's so weak and Liz happens and I hate Liz. But let's not focus into this part. Let's talk to the 4.2, 4.3 situations with, you guys know him, Asahi. Uh, one of my least favorite characters. Very well written. Least favorite characters as in I hate him. And then you go into Endwalker and you realize that his hatred, his utterly dis... What, what he did, how, how he was forced to defy Lord Xenos' uh, wishes, how he just fought against the Empire as he was being a puppet, a puppet that his body was being manipulated, you know, by uh, Amon, by Falafel. His hatred was so much that he willingly uh, condemns Amon to hell and himself to hell. He has no remorse, zero regret. And this situation happens, everything in Heaven's World is included. And let's not forget that a few cinematics before you fight Hydaelyn, you get that mega cinematic that includes everything you have done. And, um, what the fuck? Like, how good is that cinematic? It includes everything you... Not, not me, not me, not the guy that makes the video, not Bobby, Timmy, Tiny. All of you, all of you. The journey that you did is given to your screen and you get to see it and re-experience that. If you didn't do the Void Ark and the Sky Pirates, you won't get it. If you didn't do that, you won't get it. If you didn't do the Four Lords, you, don't, you won't get it. But if you do all this, that cinematic of mine, which at some point will be uploaded on YouTube, it had everything I have done. So you unironically reach, reach a finale of everything, of everything. And you know what? Let's talk about Venat, because when you fight Elidibus, Elidibus gets a lot of screen time, okay? Elidibus was the heart of Zodiac. Venat was the spirit of Hydaelyn, the soul of Hydaelyn, Hydaelyn herself, right? And you go to meet with her. You go to interact with her back in LPs. You go to see her perspective. And you just, you know what I love in this game? The Warrior of Light and the player himself, you just can't keep can't stop failing in a good sense. Shadowbringers happens. You want to kill Venat. You, not, not Venat, sorry. You want to kill Hydaelyn because you're like, ah, she does some sus things. And then you, you, you learn about her. You meet her in LPs. You see how she's a being full of love, full of care. And then you fight her into this trial where she actually trials you how by giving you an opportunity. She could have said, eh. No, no, you know what? No, the plan is to flee. Go away. But she actually said, you know what? No, there is another path. She was open-minded. Let's go in and do a deep dive into Hydaelyn with my small brain. Someone that uh, has not finished the MSQ even. Fellas. Hydaelyn. Was... She was born for the future, the primal itself, the ones that, uh, the, the loyals to Venat, all this sacrifice was done for the future to move away from the past. Yet, yet, despite all that, the primal, the being, the soul, the creation, our mummy, she does not really give you an ultimatum, like, go away, it's time for the future, no. She says, no, there is another way. But if you hope to fight Meteor and win, in the realm full of Dynamis, quite literally translated to Force, I'm going to make another Star Wars parallel right here. You know, the Force, a Force that keeps us all united, all together. That's what it means. It's Greek, Dynami. It means Force, okay? Into that plane of Force, into the plane of Dynamis, into the plane of where your ether avails not. She's like, before you go there, you need to prove. And she challenges you. And you fight her. And finally, my wish, 
my wish was granted and I killed the primal. You know what? A few streams ago, it must have been quite a few streams ago, really. Um, Hydaelyn, not Hydaelyn, uh, one of my charters, I believe it was Billy, said, be careful what you wish for. Why? Because in those streams ago, before LPs, a long time before, that, I said, you know what? I, I, I will quote myself. Ah, we gotta kill this bitch. Speaking about Hydaelyn, you know, the sus thing that I told you about, right? And we enter Endwalker and she's, she started saying that, be careful what you wish for. We enter uh, LPs, be careful what you wish for. And now we finally, my wish from back then was granted. I killed her. The one that back then I called a bitch. And now, well, I was the bitch because I cried. I teared up, I was hiding my face from stream, I didn't want to break out, I, di I didn't, I didn't. And you know what, it's not, it's, it's, it's just how it happens. It's, it was my mother. It was my mother. This weeb game, and I'm saying this in a meme way because I could never be, take the word weeb seriously, right? This weeb game. This washed out, graphically silly thing, whatever it is. This utter horror, if you think about it, how of the spaghetti code it has, right? It got so much emotion from me. And I truly dread the thought of finishing MSQ. It is one of my worst fears. I'm not a guy that is normally afraid. Uh, I have a form of uh, arachnophobia. I would take spiders and put them on my hand. I'm I'm a bit of a psycho. <laughs> this game I'm afraid of. I don't want to finish it. I've said it on stream. It only adds once. You can do it again, but it only ends once for the first time. You cannot just burst to experience it. I do three uh, quests per MSQ, two quests per MSQ, four quests per MSQ stream. Why? Because, well, content. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The, the two reasons, you want the two reasons unfiltered, I will tell them to you. Uh, it is a pain in the ass to do an edit of a video editing of four hours, five hours, because it is, you know, four hours for the edit, four hours for the chapters, four hours for the update. The time already just starts ramping up, okay? That's the one reason. And the other reason is I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. I find myself unable to fathom the concept that a journey of three plus years will come at an end. And no, it won't come at an end. I am being an overly dramatic person right now because we know that I have 6.1, 6.2 soon in one week. Uh, I don't know when this is uploaded on YouTube, but it was shot in 4th of June, okay? In 2023. This, in one week, we will have 6.3. I have the raids to do, I have the trials to do probably or something, I have alliance raids to do, I don't know if it's out yet, I, I am clueless about these things, right? But I don't want it to end. And you know what? Ja what did I say? Did I say June? Uh, I, I thought I said January, but yeah, it is, it is January. To all of my children in whom life flows abandoned, bro. Did you guys suspect this? Because like there were like many, you know, this is actually a question. I will put, I will include this into the YouTube video. Uh, did you guys ex suspect this, expect this, or you know, uh, had foreseen this part that has happened here? Because sure, you know, you know that at some point you're gonna kill Hydaelyn because she's the last primal, right? But did you foresee this? Like, did you? I don't know how some uh, content creators are like, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna be cliche, but I saw the end. I didn't. I didn't, I was God throughout every turn, throughout every twisting, throughout every uh, micro angle, I was God. And I am immensely appreciative of that. Billy, I don't know if you are in the chat, but guys, everybody on YouTube, YouTube, everybody on Twitch, a special thanks and a special shout out from me, King Shiny 66 to Billy, ya boy Urkel, on stream for being the guy to introduce me to this lovely game. I never thought this moment would happen. 
It was one of the few MMOs that I was negatively prejudged towards it before I started. I thought it was like back in ARR, like, you know, I agree with that Saturday FF14, it looks so bad and stuff, you know? And I come, and because of that, I got to meet After Dawn. I got to meet Bodrick. I got to meet all you wonderful people. Because of FF14, I picked up streaming. Because of all that, because of FF14, I want to become a content creator. You have no idea how much it means to me. This game is insanely good. You want? Do you want an honest review of the game? I will give you one in 10 seconds, and you can play that to your nerdy friend that does not want to play the game. Uh, this is, I've been playing MMO since 2002, this is the best MMO I've played in my life. Why? Uh, free Trial has more content than MMO do. Like, uh, the Free Trial of Final Fantasy XIV has more content than uh, World of Warcraft has, I believe, in its entirety. Maybe, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe this is subjective, okay? It has a lot of content. Thousands of hours in the Free Trial. Um, the dice system, uh, the game itself, even though, it, I will be honest, like the graphic updates, which is coming in 7.0, it's coming in 7.0, uh, the graphic update uh, is needed, the game is not so, but if, uh, so, you know, polished, but even if it's not polished, look at the fucking screen! This thing radiates emotion to me, look at the cat, look at the cat next to my character. Isn't this adorable? If you don't think it's adorable, uh, get out of my channel. But uh, honestly, it's just so adorable. I love it. I adore it. You know, look at my 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 character. My, I'm wearing I'm wearing the ancient uniform, the the the, the 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 mask, right? I'm wearing the robes from back then, from from that I was given to by actually they were made to me by Ithlodios, my new old, my old new my hold up hold up brain fart. New old friend or old new friend? New old friend. Yeah, my new old friend. I got nothing. I got nothing. If you if you're watching on YouTube, uh, tell me honestly. Tell me how you felt. We are at the point that we have just killed uh, Hydaelyn, right? Tell me how you felt. How this? What this game means to you? How it has made you a better person? Because me, it has made me a better person. I'm least less angry in life. I'm less toxic in life. I when I picked it up, I was 65 kilograms. I was skinny. Uh, my, my 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 arms. This bicep right here. It was this thin. This thin. My arm right now was as as big as my my leg back then was as big as my arm is right now. You know, this game has unironically, memes aside, made me a healthier human being. By all accounts. And well, it does have actually made me cry a lot. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, uh, let me know. Tell me in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you, I don't know, if you want more of this. And uh, thank you for watching.